Hey Tankers, Bonsai Duck here. Today we have a new submission from a player, uh, Roman numeral 18, <laughs> for lack of a better word, to, to I guess say 18, Roman numeral 18. He's from the Reddit clan. He is in his T95 FB4201. He is on Stadinsky in a standard battle in a tier 10, tier 9, tier 8 battle. Uh, he spawned over here on the east side and has moved down south to go through the little village. So, um, 18, take it away. Really uh, enjoy the replays that I see with the uh, T95. Um, played against it a couple times. It's a fairly tough tank. Um, wouldn't mind having one, but I don't play Clan Wars, and so... And he's moving through the village. His whole team is just kind of mowing right through the village. I haven't run into any resistance. And, uh, I, to be honest with you, I'm not quite sure where the other team is at. <laughs> okay, we got an SU-130 PM coming in here. He took care of the bat chat. Now 18 uh, put some damage on him. And he's down. Eighteen checking to see if he can get any shots over at the factory. Got a sixty TP coming in. Nothing on the E4. Get spotted by a T92. There's some Artie. And it's bye bye, Artie. We got a couple, we got a low and an object 257 heading over to the extreme north. We got an E100 coming through the uh, factory. And a T27. T54E1 and uh, our uh, hero Roman numeral 18 all playing right over here. He's taking some damage. T54E1 got a couple bites into him. Oh, not, T27 just gotten away. Now, I don't know if, <laughs> if our uh, hero here waited till the uh, STRB fired before he did so that the STRB didn't change targets instead of hitting the T27 and he hit him. <laughs> but if you did, that was very good. Uh, good gameplay. If you didn't, it was still good gameplay. All right, there's a shot into the T92. And if, if that's where that little bastard was sitting the whole time... Alright, so, Roman numeral 18, looks like he's fluxing back over towards the base. Because right now the E100 seems to be in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, T54 and a T54 E1 left back where he was at. Okay, so, he's gonna run down the ditch line. Maybe he can get some of these guys in a crossfire. It appears able to get a good shot into the IS-7. More damage on the IS-7. T-54 E-1 of the enemy. Uh, and an armor not penetrated. Sure. 
penetration value of 322. You couldn't penetrate him. Okay. <laughs> then meanwhile, you, you go into the 257. Okay. <laughs> oh, RNG. She's a fickle beast. Anyway. Got the STRB over there. He's not looking. And right now, he's not playing. All right. Seven's got his head turned to you, so you just pop him in the back of the head. Really need your E100 and your 257 and your low to start pushing. Be really nice. And a critical. Nice shot into the temp four as he hits the dirt, it looks like. Now we got a Udes. Woods 3. He takes a shot. And from this position, you're able to just shoot in almost every direction you need to shoot and just push the enemy back. Pushes into the factory. U100 is down. Turn seven decides better to get back out of there and try to take you on. Oh, that four heavy. T fifty four U one is calling for help. Object two five seven is now pulling back towards base. sure what that's all about leaving the su-130 all by himself apparently you guys have lost your low mm. well the t-54e1 did work the type 4 down a bit Quite sure what you're waiting on, other than being patient, which apparently I am not. <laughs> uh, oh, takes a shot from the 60 TP. Get in on that Panther. damage on a Centurion 7-1. Oh, there's that 60 TP. Oh, okay, he's down. Another mad rushing. <coughs> Your T-54E1. Oh, just missed that. But now it's time to move in on this uh, Type 4 Heavy. Five seven takes a shot at you. And now you're headed back into the factory. Alright, well, our, your hero here, Big F um, Roman numeral 18, he titled this Big Flex Carry. So I think we're going to see some good gameplay coming in here. Since, considering that it's pretty much him being surrounded. You got an object 257 over here, obviously. Giving you a hand. Now you're going to flex back. And it makes sense to go back and get 257. Because he's the one that you don't know about. Now 
not sure where he's at. As he runs the ditch line again, heading back over towards where the 257 was last seen. Oh, no, 18. It's sitting on 4,200 in damage with 1,420 in block damage and another 1,800 in spotted damage for a combine of somewhere around 8. Um, math in public, yeah, 7 to 8,000 in damage. There's the Centurion. And there goes the Centurion. They got the Artie and the 257. Searching through the little the village. There's the 257. Nice tracking shot in him. That was a very nice snapshot. You can definitely take two hits from him. Okay. That's it. That's all you can take. <laughs> I love haters in your arty. Decided to finish him off for you. All right. Now we're already hunting. Mickey Mouse is here a little bit. Nowhere for the Artie to drown himself, that's for sure. And there he is. Got a shot. And he's down. And that's a victory. Alright, so. Roman numeral 18. Second class on that one. I, I don't know what you need to get a first class, but Jesus. Uh, spotter. Hand of God. Bruiser. Fighter, fire for effect, give you 51,478 in credits for 1,164 in experience. I mean, just look at all those tanks. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> it's like you put a piece of a shot on everybody. Um, and pretty much you had to. You did 5,178 in damage for four kills. Gives you 11, 1,109 in base experience. Um, yeah, that puts you... Most damage. That that 60 TP did some pretty good damage on the other side, but he had absolutely z upkiss in the uh, base experience. Uh, you fired 20 shots, 18 hit, 14 pin. So good shot to hit to pin ratio. Uh, you did 2,550 from 300 meters out. You blocked 1,420, and you spotted for 2,130. Was a cost of the game, and obviously you're a free to play player. Um, but still, uh, you know, you did very well, and you got some experience. You know, all in all, I, I think, I mean, I, you played it very well. I can't fault anything. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, I would have been more aggressive, but the, that's probably the a huge difference between your play style and mine. Um, you know, I might have been a little bit more aggressive on it, but the, the ability you flex back and, and towards the, the factory and was able to take out and damage quite a few tanks at that point, um, you know, it just goes to show to your your ability to read the, with the map and, and assess what's going on and, and your, uh, your uh, situational awareness. So, really, it was a great game, and I appreciate you sending it in, and I look forward to seeing more from you. So, that was Roman numeral 18 from the Reddit clan in his T95 FB4201 chieftain on Stadinsky in a standard battle. If you like the video, hit the like button. Keep those videos coming. I greatly appreciate it. This is Bonsai Duck out.